how hard is it to see a season end uh, on one off game like that? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, uh, like when you look at the small picture, especially, but uh, uh, you take a step back, which is kind of hard to do right now, and you look at everything from uh, you know September training camp to uh, to where we are now. Uh, you look at uh, you know, each individual person has a lot, you know, adversity and, and things they battle through throughout a year. And uh, when you look at the big picture, uh, for us to be where we are today uh, was pretty special. So uh, you, you got to give them credit; they played an excellent game, and uh, uh, we just fell a little bit short. What did you think about the effort tonight from you guys? No, I thought it was solid. Like you know, the intentions were there. Uh, compete was there. Battle was there. Uh, um, you know, they're. They played a real solid game, and uh, I thought we did too. And it was a one nothing game, and uh, it's kind of the story of the whole series. It's just really tight matches. So uh, it's as you get older, you, you look in these types of hockey games. They're such good hockey games, and uh, everybody's playing their best. And you know, practices everybody's sharp, and there's no there's no uh, lulls in anybody's game at any point. So uh, um, from my standpoint, I'm really thankful to have teammates that. Uh, rose to the occasion this playoffs and brought their game to a new level. And, uh, um, you know, that type of hockey is fun to play. In. Conversation with the younger guys on this team when you get into the third period and you're fighting back from that one, nothing game. It, it, it's the same, you know, our backs, <laughs> I know Seth, Seth talks about this and talks about it a bunch. Uh, our backs been against the wall all the time and, uh, um, we've rose to the occasion and, uh, now, unfortunately, we weren't, but it wasn't from a lack of chances or lack of effort or not having the right mentality. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think there was any panic in our game that we thought we were going to do it all the way through. You guys salute the fans afterward, mm -hmm. and as you always seem to be, are at the bench door, yeah. high five and everything. What goes into that? What's your thinking there, and why, why are you the guy to kind of, you know, usher everyone off or say a great job? I don't know what you're saying, but yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, from uh, the fan standpoint, uh, you know, it's just it was just unbelievable to play in front of them uh, throughout the year and the playoffs and the support they gave us. And, uh, uh, you know, from my standpoint, you know, if you're a, a visitor coming into playing here in this type of environment, it's it's hard. It's hard for, uh, um, you know, Syracuse, it's hard for Toronto. And I know Hershey got the best of us, but um, it wasn't from a lack of support from the fans. So I'm so grateful for that. Uh, but like I said, you know, in the AHL, sometimes you don't get that type of environment. Um, um, you know, a lot of the guys on our team will play in the NHL because they're great players and, uh, you know, they'll get that environment every night. But for, uh, from my standpoint, from some of the older guys to have that uh, atmosphere and uh, the support from the fans is incredible. Cash that. It's tough because, uh, you know, we knew it was a huge moment in the game and, uh, um, we had some great looks, and it just felt like everything just hit off a stick or a shin pad. Uh, Yuri had some great chances, and you know, a, st a stick out of midair, I think, tipped one of his shots, and um, you know, where he collapsed on the net, went in puck battles, and just didn't go in. So, um, you know, frustrating, obviously, because we want to score and um, uh, make a big impact on the game, but uh, uh, it wasn't from a lack of effort or chances. So, uh, that was kind of just. Uh, our mentality the whole season was effort. Or effort was there in the playoffs, especially. Um, uh, you know, execution was there. We just you know, came up short in that moment. One word phrase to kind of sum up how this team was throughout the season. Yeah, you know, it, it's tough because uh, in uh, when you're in a playoff run like this, I found like being as cliche as it sounds, day to day, it's like so important, and you can't look ahead. You can't. Look what happened behind you. So you just got to be like, all right, we have practice today. Let's be the best. If we have a game, let's be ready to go. Um, but, uh, you know, resilient, I would say, for this group. Because uh, uh, down 0-2 to Syracuse, they they gave it to us the first two games in their barn. And we could have just been like, all right, time for summer. But we, we made some changes. We brought a new attitude. And uh, everybody bought in. And, we're here, was it June 1st or 2nd? No. So I would say resilient is the answer to your question. For a game where every time you're generating something, they've got either two guys on the puck or guys right in front of shots, passes, sticks, and lanes, mm -hmm. and you're trying to get you that every game for 60 minutes. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about in their D zone? 
in their D zone, especially. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it, it, when you come down to the last four teams in the playoffs, it's going to be tough. Everybody's good. So uh, uh, they defend well. They play, they're play. they good offensively. You know, they have good goaltending. And, and teams are here for in, in the conference finals for a reason. So uh, so that type of stuff's going to be tough. And uh, you got to find ways to fight through it. And uh, um, like I said, you got to give them credit. They played a well-structured, great game. And, um, you know, it wasn't a, for a lack of effort or you know, I thought we executed pretty well too. It's just sometimes that's the way it goes, and um, I'm just very proud of uh, you know guys for buying in and getting a chance to play in this type of hockey. I think it's very important for their careers. There was a time in February and even into March where there was no way you were going to be playing. Now it's June second. Yeah. Uh, you lost key guys. You just more hadn't really hit the rhythm. Uh -huh. Why are you here? How did you end up here? Uh, I think it's uh, everybody's got to rise to the occasion and you know find their game at the right time. And uh, 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 it, it, you know this is a development league, especially um, with the Buffalo Sabres organization. And uh, uh, there's some high-end players, and uh, we had a process that we stuck with throughout the year, and. Uh, Coaches, players, all bought into trying to become better, better players and uh, better coaches. And um, you know, the coaches gave us good drills and practice, and you know, development where everybody, even myself, we just all got better. And so, um, us older players and the younger players, especially um, when they start clicking towards the end of the year, you know, it, it can change the dynamic of a team. And um, we had some guys who really did that this year.